Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about network cuts. So normally in the ST graph, that is source target graph, so we may get any uh, number of cuts. So the if you have cuts on different edges in the graph, we can call it as a network cut. So how can we calculate the capacity value of these cuts? Okay. So that is what we are going to discuss in this topic. So in this given graph, SD uh, graph, we have actually two cuts. So one is represented as X1, the next cut has been represented as X2. So now we need to calculate what is the capacity value of this X1 and X2 separately. How to do that? So let us see, first for cut X1. For the cut X1, so what are all, so we need to check what are all the edges this particular cut has been enabled in the graph. So here the first cut X1 has been enabled in the edges V1 to V2, V1 to V3 and S2, V4, S2, V3. So on all these four edges this cut has been enabled. Now we need to find out we are going to uh, uh, separate this graph into two partitions. So whenever any cut is enabled on the graph, so we will partition this graph uh, into two. So first partition will hold some of the edges that will be associated with source and the second partition will consist of some, uh, some of the vertices that will be asso associated with the target. So let us see for the first cut, what are all the two partitions sets uh, so the first partition set will consist of how many number of vertices as well as in the second partition. So in the second set how many number of vertices are there. So in the first partition, in the first set it consists of two vertices. One is S yes, that is source vertex and another one is V1 because this is actually the cut. So the first partition consists of these two vertices and in the second partition it consists of all other remaining vertices including this target vertex. So let us see the second partition which has V4, V3, V2, V5 and target. This is for X1 cut. Okay. So there are actually two partitions. The first partition holds these two vertices and the second partition holds the remaining vertices. Now we need to check the number of edges that uh, we uh, have this cut. All these edges is said to be a forward edge or the backward edge. So how can we check whether it is a forward edge or the backward edge? So let us take for the first edge, first edges V1 to V2. So this cut is there in the first edge. So we can take this first edge. So we need to check the first vertex was available in the first partition and the second vertex is available in the second partition. If it is so, then we can treat this as a forward edge. This particular edge is said to be a forward edge. So let us take what is the first vertex? It is V1. So V1 is present in the first partition and the second vertex is V2, V2 is present in the second partition. So it is nothing but forward edge. So we can compute this edge value to find the capacity of this X1 cut. So we can include this edge value. So first edge value which is nothing but 3 plus. So next edge, so what is the next edge that is V1 to V3. So now we need to check whether it is a forward edge. How can we check it? So the first vertex that is for this edge, this will be considered as the source vertex and this is the destination vertex. So V1 is present in the first partition. Yes. V3 is present in the second partition. Yes. So this is nothing but a forward edge and we can include its edge value for finding out the capacity of X1 cut. Now next edge is S2 V3. So now considering this first vertex whether it is present in the first partition. S is available in the first partition and V3 is also available in the second partition. So we can include its edge value it is 2. Plus 
and one more edge we have this particular cut has been enabled so this edge is nothing but s to v4 here s is present in the first partition and v4 is available in the second partition so it is also said to be a forward edge so we can include its edge value that is 5 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5 so what is the total value it is 14 yes so capacity of x1 value which is nothing but 14 so this is how we can calculate the capacity of each cuts that were available in the graph now going to calculate the next cut that were uh, that is in the same graph we have actually two cut so for the next cut we need to check what are all the edges that were available first we have to check what are all the two set of partitions it has okay so what are all the two sets of vertices for the first partition and for the second partition what are all the vertices it hold. So if you take this cut the left side of this cut will be considered as the first partition. So which are all the vertices we have in this left side of this cut will be considered as the first partition. So let us take S, V1, V2, V3, V4 this is nothing but first partition set of vertices in the first partition second partition holds only two vertices which is nothing but v5 and t so this is actually second partition it consists of only two vertices including the source and target vertex we should include the uh, we should include those vertices also in the set so this is what the two partitions for this x2 cut now calculating its capacity value so first we need to find out what are all the edges we have this x2 cut so we have the edges from V2 to T, V3 to T, V3 to V5 and v, V5 to V4. So we have actually four edges. Okay. And we need to check whether it is a forward edge or not. If it is a forward edge, then we can compute it. Um, we can uh, include that edge value for computation. Right. So first we are checking what is the first edge value. So first edge value is nothing but first edge is V2 to T. So now we have to check whether it is a forward edge. V2 is available in the first partition. Yes it is available and T is available in the second partition. So it is said to be a forward edge. So we can add this value. Its edge value is 6. So we are just adding it. Next edge is V3 to T. Now V3 is available in the first partition and T is available in the second partition so we can include its value. Its edge value is 4. Now next edge is V3 to V5. So V3 is available in the first partition and V5 is also available in second partition. So we can include its value. Its edge value is 8. So next edge is V4 to sorry V5 to V4. Now we need to check whether V5 is available in the first partition because for this particular edge V5 is the source vertex and V4 is the destination one. So we need to check whether V5 is available in the first partition and V4 is available in the second partition. No it is not available. It is given in opposite direction. V5 in the first V4, um, V5 in the second and V4 in the first, uh, first partition. So it is not said to be a forward edge. It is a backward edge. So if the edge uh, is said to be a backward edge, so then its edge value will not be included for computation. To compute the capacity of this particular cut, we should not include any backward edge value. So here no edge value will be given here. So only three edge values will be added and what is the result you are getting? 18. Isn't it? So 18 is the capacity value of this x2 cut. So this is how we can calculate the capacity values of different cuts in the edge uh, in the graph. So we need to check whether the given edge on the cut which is enabled is said to be a forward edge or the backward edge. If it is a forward edge then we can include its edge value for computation otherwise we should not include it. So this is a concept of network cuts. So this forward edge and backward edge is somewhat similar to the forward edge uh, and backward edge what we got in the network flow uh, algorithm. That is what Ford-Fulkerson algorithm. Right. Thank you.